Terry, um, I, I see that smile. <laughs> How's it feel? I mean, you yeah. just finally inked the deal. Yeah. I'm sure this is something that you dream. I mean, you dreamed to get in the NFL, mm -hmm. but you also want to get Most you want to get that contract. Yeah, um, it's it's super exciting to to kind of have this culmination to come here and sign my extension to stay with this team that drafted me. Um, that kind of initiated my dream of just being in the NFL. And I remember getting here and just being so happy to be in the opportunity that I had. Um, you know, guys blessed me with so many great opportunities and just the ability that I have and um, to come here and, and sign that contract and make things official to stay here as um, one of the leaders of this team and just so many goals we have going forward is really exciting to share this moment with my family, my girlfriend and my agent. So it's it's been really an exciting day and uh, you know, this smile may not wipe <laughs> off for a little bit. <laughs> it <laughs> shouldn't, good. it shouldn't, it shouldn't. It's great. It's, you know, I mean, you talk about your God-given abilities, yeah. but let's let's not deny the fact that you've worked really hard yeah. for this too. Definitely. There's a lot of aspects of your game mm -hmm. that are earned mm -hmm. throughout that as well. Yeah. Um, where do you feel that your game most, because you get paid for what you did. Right. Where do you feel your game really kind of in that, that work paid mm -hmm. off to where you're at today? Um, I think honestly, just my ability to be able to increase my ball skills. I think that was something that was really um, a point of emphasis in college. And I remember just being in, in, in the indoor at, at Ohio State and trying to create different mm -hmm. drills to try, try to increase my, my ball skills, whether it's contested catches or just um, catching the ball in a, a way that was cleaner and just it gave me the best ability to do something with the ball as soon as I got it. And um, now just to see I'm, you know, my drop percentage is really low and my contested catches led the league. And that's just a testament to the hard work that I was trying to put in during that time. And you really never know at the time when that's going to show up and where you're going to need it most. So um, it just makes me want to continue to try to improve on the weaknesses I may have in my game and, and then continue to make my strengths even stronger. So um, the work ethic is something that I've always prided myself in. And no matter what the opportunity that I had in front of me, I knew I wanted to be prepared for those moments by putting the work in when nobody else was watching. So you talk about your hands kind of and the ability to do that, mm -hmm. but does that still resonate with you mm -hmm. when Ohio State said that's something we want you to work on? Yeah. Is that something that still impacts you today? Uh, I mean, definitely. I think I'm always trying to analyze my game and see where I can see improvements. Yeah. And I think that the time you get complacency in this league mm -hmm. is the kind of when you get passed by. And so I'm always looking to try to stay on top of my game, whether it's my route running, my releases. It was something that was very big in the last offseason that I wanted to improve on. And so um, it's just things that I always want to continue to focus on in my game that I can keep me at the top of my level and continue to, to keep he, be my best for this team and one of the best receivers in this league. Another thing you touched on is staying here. Yeah. You know, this is a league where a lot of guys, you know, people typically would follow a team mm -hmm. um, and the players would move. Definitely. And so now a lot of times people follow the players right. to whichever teams they go to. Mm -hmm. Why was it important for you to stay here? Um, I mean, I think I got a very unique opportunity to come and play for um, you know, Washington, when I got that, that call that night in Indianapolis to, you know, be a part of this organization and just the history that this organization has and the winning culture and the Super Bowls and having Doug Williams around, who's been a mentor of mine, I get to even wear his 17 again. So, um, you know, it's just, it was super special to come in here and I had an opportunity to be able to contribute right away. And, you know, I was very excited for my opportunity to come, you know, help the team any way I could, but I knew I had the chance to Play, play a big role as a receiver, as a rookie. And, you know, I was very fortunate to have um, some really good mentors my, my rookie year that really helped me um, be prepared for my opportunities. And I was just putting the work in and, and excited. So, um, you know, and just the, the, these fans, they're so passionate. You know what I mean? There's, there's really no fan base like them in the NFL to me. Um, and the way they supported me mm -hmm. and uh, just encouraged me and the, the autographs I get to sign and seeing them out at camp is just it makes it makes my heart really happy to be able to stay here and continue to try to build something mm -hmm. back to where it should be. And uh, I know we got a, a lot of great guys in the locker room that are have the same goals and mindset as I do. I know you're going to say winning is most important over yeah. everything. And of course it is. Um, but personally, mm -hmm. you're starting to break records mm -hmm. that were set by Gary Clark. Yeah. And he got that for being here and staying at this franchise. Right. But just in a short time, in three years, you're mm -hmm. already breaking those records. Mm -hmm. um, you have a thousand yard season last mm -hmm. year. How much do you pay attention to just, and I don't know how real yeah. you can be, but yeah. how much do you pay attention? Come on, when you yeah. see those numbers and those records being broken on yeah. you individually. I mean, it's definitely very humbling when you see guys like, uh, you're in the conversation with Gary Clark and Art Monk and Santana, like um, to be just in the conversation with those guys is extremely humbling for me. And 
to be able to achieve some of those things so early in my career um, is, is definitely very exciting and it's something I really take pride in. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, I really do just love being around the guys and winning football games. But uh, I'd be lying to say I don't want to be my, the best player I can be and try to, um, you know, reset some of those records and things like that. But I think that just comes with the everyday work ethic that I try to bring, mm -hmm. uh, the competitiveness, the leadership, and I think the rest takes care of itself. So um, I'm really excited to continue to try to be my best and improve, you know, individually, but help our team and our offense improve this year. You get a new quarterback again, yeah. another quarterback yeah. to work with. Um, you haven't been on the field with him yet because mm -hmm. you were waiting for this to be signed mm -hmm. before you get out there. So we'll see you on a training camp. Mm -hmm. um, but what are you anticipating you can do with Carson, yeah. knowing the arm that he has? Yeah. And then also the other weapons, you know, Curtis, say Curtis Healthy, right. John Dotson coming in mm -hmm. here. What are you anticipating? Yeah, I'm, I haven't got to be on the field with Carson yeah. quite yet, but we've, we've really got to be able to build a personal relationship over the last few months. Um, you know, he was texting me all throughout the offseason, just checking in on me, seeing how I was doing. And, um, you know, personally, he's just a really, a really good guy that I feel like we were going to get along personally. And just as a competitor, um, you know, he's been doing this at a very high level at the early part of his career. And, um, you know, hopefully I could just add something to his game and be a guy that he could really trust and depend on. I think no matter the quarterback that's been here, I've just always wanted to make their job as easy as mm -hmm. possible. So whether that's getting the extra work to try to make up some of the time we missed in camp or watching film or just hanging out, I think we're going to have some opportunities to grow together and um, you know I think that'll permeate throughout our group the receivers and the quarterbacks and um, I'm really excited to be a part of our guys again I think we have a really interesting dynamic group this year um, young some vets some guys who uh, can come in and step into spots when we need them with Cam Sims and I'm really excited um, to see how we all gel together and, and mesh this camp to see how we can make some explosive plays happen because I think talking to Coach Rivera and, and Coach Turner and things like that we want to really make more explosive plays down the field. And, and we know how big that is in this NFL with you know points and scoring points and making big plays. So I'm really excited to see um, how everybody starts to gel together and you know do my best as the leader to mm -hmm. try to push everybody. I know they're gonna push me as well. So that's that's the fun part. I, competition, that's really where you get yeah. better. Um, you've seen over the past few years though, this team really kind of invest a lot on defense. Mm -hmm. This off season, they kind of made it a point to say, okay, we've got Carson, we've got mm -hmm. Terry. We need to make sure that we invest on the offensive side of the ball. Right. How do you see this offense maybe different yeah. than what you've had so far in the past? Well, I think um, we're really strong up front. Um, you know, I think Coach Masco does a really good job with the guys up front. You know, uh, Charles and um, Chase, obviously guys have been around for a little while and, and Wes and um, the new guys that we brought in I haven't got to meet yet. I think it really starts up front with, with the O-line that we have and the toughness that they bring. I think that sets the tone for our offense, but um, I just think as many weapons as we have, I think it's really um, the sky could possibly be the limit if we put the work in um, each and every day to try to mesh in jail so we're on the same same page. And I think it's not going to be like all on me or all on one guy, all on Carson. I think a group collective effort is really what's going to make this offense successful to where defenses have to respect the run game with Antonio mm -hmm. and JD and um, the other guys in that room. and and the tight ends with Logan coming back healthy and, and, and what John Bates does in our run game and in the past game. So I think we really have a dynamic group um, of a lot of versatile guys who are smart and unselfish. I think when you have a collective group like that, you have an opportunity to do a lot of great things, but uh, we're just going to try to take it a day at a time. Just one ball, Terry, though. Yeah, just one ball. <laughs> but uh, I mean, uh, coming from college, I mean, at the, at the end of the day, I, I know what that's like to, um, you know, the ball to be distributed, but I also I know what I have to do and bring to this mm -hmm. table and, and be the guy that can make the plays when we need them most. But I think it's very exciting that we have other guys can make plays when we need them as well. And um, like I said, when you when in this league now, you see teams with a lot of different dynamic weapons. And I think that'll really help us guys to develop and, and step into their role to make this offense a complete offense this year. All right. Well, you look clean. I appreciate it. You look clean. <laughs> you got it. the chains. I mean, you're looking you're yeah. looking like that contract. Um, but let me ask you, is it going to be the fishing poles that get upgraded or the <laughs> golfing clubs? Which uh, one? Uh, I haven't decided yet. My, my partners at PXG actually upgraded my golf clubs to their new Gen 5, so shout out to them for that. Uh, I've been really kind of getting some golf in because once the season starts, i got to kind of put So now away. that you can afford everything yeah, you want, yeah, it's given yeah, to you for free. Yeah. Isn't that how it goes? <laughs> well, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. So maybe, um, you know, I maybe upgrade my dad's golf clubs or something like that. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm really excited just to, you know, tithe my money and give it to a church yeah. that I'm really... Um, 
passionate about and seeing the great works they're doing in this community. And, um, you know, I want to be continue to be a part of that. And, um, you know, I know I'm not being blessed with this money just to enjoy for myself, but um, I'm, I'm excited to have this opportunity to to set my family up and myself just um, financially so that we're that we're good. But at the end of the day, you know, I, I've always played this game because I love it and I respect the, the time, the work and the effort that it takes to be good at this, be great at this game. And um, and I'm really just excited to get back to work. All right. Family proud, fan base yeah. proud, excited. Yeah. Don't keep that smile for a while. It looks, <laughs> it looks good on the Thank you. Thank you, Terry. Congratulations. And Thank we can't you. wait to see you on the field. I appreciate you. Good to yeah. see you again.